You look like you're having fun. A party. Yeah. <laughs> I am, yeah. I'm having, but no, 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 I'm very nervous. I get very nervous, especially as we approach the season two. You know, you just, you have to live up to season one. And I think that that's what's, that's scary. It's very scary. And how much pressure do all of you feel now to populate your rooms with diverse writers and also the pressure to cast actors who aren't white? Well, I'll tell you, nothing is more beautiful now than to go into this room, to the writer's room of Empire. I don't know what gives me more pleasure, watching my story unfold or going in and watching the, uh, a room full of black people talking for me and saying words that, uh, and writing words that black people, I hate white people writing for black people. It's so offensive. And so it, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. And I'm really happy, that, I'm really, really happy that if anything, forget the success of Empire. I mean, it's, it's great that we have that. What is important is that people of color know that they are wanted. Because Jalan told me that we ain't wanted. The internet has destroyed the musician's ability to make money because our work is downloaded for free online. And now it's impossible for the disenfranchised kids growing up in the projects to overcome poverty the way that I did. We are gonna change all of that. I am proud to announce that Empire Entertainment has filed to become a publicly traded company on the New York Stock Exchange. What upsets me is, is that there are many blacks that don't like what I, how I'm representing African Americans right now. And, uh, and I'm like, well, I don't know. This is, this is the world that I know. Mm -hmm. This is a real world that is as honest as I can be. Like my mom said to me um, prior to uh, Empire, prior to even Butler, she says, can't you do something? Can't you do movies like Tyler Perry? Can't Miss Jones- My mom says that to me Ms. too. Jones, <laughs> Miss Jones down the church says something, you, something happened to you. You know, why are you doing movies about pedophilia and stuff? I said, this is, these are issues that are important to me. So I did the butler and shut her up. <laughs> there you go. All right, she's just watching the butler and repeat. <laughs> shut Miss Jones up. <laughs> I have a partner. He's an incredible writer and, and really my backbone, Danny Strong. And so when we don't see eye to eye, it's painful. Mm. I have a very clear vision. I mean, I come from film, where director is God. And so, if there is a clash, it's painful. It's like I'm fighting with my lover. We then have to go and fight with a production company, mm. and then fight with a network. I mean, it's cray cray. It can, it can, it's like, you know. What was the biggest disagreement you and Danny had this year? I think music, but it's painful. It's painful because I love him and I don't want to fight with uh, my partner. Let's fight with the network, <laughs> you know? <laughs>